All right, so what do you do if you want to make a print that's too big to make with your printer? The solution can actually be pretty simple. We make a print out of multiple panels. Now this can be called a diptych if it's two, a triptych if it's three. If it's four, it would be a quattric, five penta pentapic? Octopic? Anyways, you can do this because your printer is too small or you can do it simply for aesthetic reasons. You could do a two panel split, a three panel split. You could do a pretty common one that's four squares making one large square. And you just leave a small gap between the prints when you hang them on the wall. So today I'm going to show you how I get one of my images and I make it into a triptych. We're gonna be using Adobe Lightroom. The process will work pretty much the same with any software. Okay, so I said we were gonna use Lightroom to create this triptych, and when I went into Lightroom to try it, I had some issues with cropping. My idea was to crop it once to my two by one format, and then make virtual copies and crop each one of those. But I don't know how to lock your crop in Lightroom, aside from just a little padlock, which isn't gonna help when I recrop it. So I made three virtual copies that were cropped, and then when I tried to crop each one of those, it brought back the entire original image, where in Photoshop, I'm actually doing a destructive edit, so I'm actually cropping it and losing the rest of that image. So it makes it way easier to do the new crops, making sure that you're not moving your crop box and your images are not gonna be off. Hopefully that makes sense. All right, here we are in Photoshop because Lightroom was making it a pain in the butt, so. First thing we're gonna do is crop this main image. Um, we want our total triptych to be 30 inches tall and 60 inches wide. So that is a one by two format. This image is in a two by three format. So we are going to crop it to two by one. This is our crop area. We're gonna go down because we're just gonna get rid of some of this dark sky. All right. That is our one by two image. Now we're gonna make two copies of this. First one is going to be the left. I'm using the duplicate image which here. Now I'm gonna make one more, which I have set up as a keystroke. If you don't, it's up here under image, duplicate. Okay, so now we have three images. We're gonna go back to our center. Now we need to recrop this one. We need to crop these into three panels. So these panels are gonna be 30 inches tall. They're 60 wide, we need three of them. So 60 divided by three is 20 wide. So 30 tall, 20 wide. So these are going to be two by three ratio. Select that in our crop menu. There's our middle panel. Nice how the mountain lines up right on the line there. This is Mount Hood behind Portland, Oregon, a photo I took several years ago at a sunrise. These colors are natural. All right, now this is our left panel. We are simply gonna slide our crop over to the left. Done. Now this is our right panel. We're simply gonna slide our panel over to the right. Now, if I go up and I do a three up vertical. All right, there is our triptych. So now if we're gonna order this, we would just export these images. You can resize them if you need. You can upscale them because most printers don't do that unless you're using me. Export these files, send them off to your printer. Now, one other thing you're gonna need to decide unless you're printing on metal is how you want the edges done. Now, I will show you how mine look, but I would pretty much do this as a image specific decision. So certain ones might look better with a black border where the image doesn't continue. Um, I generally do mirrored edges on all my canvases, including triptychs, and I will show you why. The gap between the panels is pretty small, so you're not really gonna see it. It just kind of blends into nothingness. You don't, you don't really notice it. So in my case, I'm gonna send all these to QImage1, the software I used to print. I'm gonna print them out on canvas with the edges mirrored, and I will show you where that gets us. So here we are with the finished triptych. I printed it onto archival canvas. I varnished it with satin varnish and I stretched it over three 20 by 30 sets of stretcher bars. Now I have mentioned the edging. You can see how the edge just kind of blends in. The mirrored edges are not a thing, even though basically 
what you're seeing on the edge of this canvas is the same as right here. You'd never notice that. And yeah, that's somewhat image specific. So I would make that decision based on different images. Um, but I'm personally not a big fan of solid black borders on canvases. So I don't really like the way it would look if there was just black in between and black on the sides. Even though that might actually separate the image a little bit better, it's just something aesthetically that I'm not crazy about, but it definitely would work in this situation. Pretty much any border is going to work. If I had a person on these, if these were portraits, I would probably opt for a black border because I wouldn't want anybody's head or something like that to be mirrored onto the side. That always looks really weird with mirrored edges. So if I was standing right here looking at the, at the print and I saw somebody's head kind of going in or an extra eye or something like that, then it would be funky. So in that case, I would probably go ahead and go with a solid color, maybe not black, maybe a color from the image, something like that. But I think mirrored works great for this image. Um, I really like the way that this came out. I could have actually made this on my machine in one giant canvas because I have massive printers, um, but I'm more showing you how to do this if you don't. If you only have a 44 inch printer or something like that, this one could have been done on a 44 inch printer, but still just, just saying, maybe say you had a 24 inch printer, you could not have done this if you had a Canon Pro 2000 or 2100. So there you go. Well, I hope that was helpful. I hope it gives you some good ideas and different ways to display your art. If it was, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and we'll see you next time. Thanks.